Today on Engineering Newswire, we're redesigning the stethoscope, firing a DIY railgun, and starting fires with drones. What? What? A few weeks ago, a YouTube user posted a video demonstrating his 3D printed railgun. Now, a new railgun has shown up and it's claiming the title of the first mobile shoulder mounted railgun. The railgun, which uses current to generate extreme magnetic fields that propel a conductive projectile to high speeds, is powered by 56 480 joule capacitors for a total of 27,000 joules at 400 volts. The YouTube user, Ziggy Z, who warns, do not try this at home, explains that the railgun operates with a pre-accelerator. The trigger is pulled and CO2 accelerates the projectile to approximately 50 miles per hour, which he admits is not very fast. The aluminum projectile then enters two parallel copper rails, and after making contact, the aluminum melts, which provides excellent contact and lubrication. The current flows in a C-shape through the device, producing outward force in all directions, and because the rails are held firm, the projectile experiences a forward force. With its power supply, the entire railgun weighs 250 pounds, although the gun itself only weighs 50. The Motley crew also fired the railgun at a set of fine china plates. And a Galaxy S3 taped to a pumpkin. And to confirm its lethality, it was also fired into a 30 pound block of military standard ballistics gelatin. They also shot it at a piggy bank. Poor guy never saw it coming. The stethoscope really hasn't changed since it was invented by French physician René Laenic in 1816. Now a disruptive new portable device called HeartBuds may not only be a more sanitary option, but a more accurate one as well. A little bit larger than a quarter, the device connects to a smartphone, allowing doctors to now record, store, and even share those deep heart palpitations that send you running for urgent care after a night of above average exertion. Developed by David Bellow, the Department Chief of Cardiology at Orlando Health, the HeartBud is a small plastic replica of a traditional stethoscope head that allows your doc to listen to your heart and use a smartphone display to discuss the results in real time. So how does it stack up against a 200-year-old proven device that some do say run the risk of transmitting harmful bacteria, as well as some of those newer disposable models? Well, uh, a recent study showed that HeartBuds performed just as well as the tried, tested, but more expensive stethoscopes. However, the study also found that disposable stethoscopes were incredibly inaccurate, missing heart murmurs 43% of the time and carotid blockages up to 75% of the time. That is, that is troubling. Yep. Whether the doc opts for the app is his or her personal choice, as long as A, he or she still knows how to use an analog device in case the grid goes dark, and B, you can still clip on like a little stuffed raccoon. I mean, just really relaxes me. Thanks, Dr. Fox. Pyros rejoice. Researchers at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln are developing a new fire-starting quadcopter. The unmanned aerial system for firefighting is designed to ignite and monitor controlled burns in remote areas to eliminate invasive species, restore native plants, and reduce the risk of wildfire. The drone carries a container of ping-pong-like balls filled with potassium permanganate powder. Right before being dropped through a chute, each ball is manipulated and injected with liquid glycol, which creates a chemical reaction-based flame after a few seconds. The drone can drop the balls in precise patterns over the landscape, and it could even be programmed not to fly into areas that are too hot or too windy for safe use. And it is actually less risky than other commonly used land management techniques, such as lighting prescribed burns by hand, or using all-terrain vehicles, or even using helicopters. The researchers have already performed successful indoor tests on a prototype, and they hope to have authorization from the FAA and fire departments for a field test as early as March. The team plans to eventually develop a next-generation prototype with more advanced sensing and actuation capabilities, such as operating as a swarm. 
Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the upcoming episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Melissa Fossbrenner and this has been your Engineering Newswire. Yeah, yeah, yeah.